great dinner. Did you marinate these pork chops? Well, they soaked for about an hour in beer, but that was more or less an accident. <laughs> Morning, early birds. Jamie, it's 7.30 at night. You gotta take that tinfoil off your windows. Elvis put tinfoil on his windows. Elvis died on his toilet. His solid gold toilet. I see you noticed the lock. All right. I see what's going on here. Okay, Kevin, tell me the combination. Sarah, cover your ears. I hate to do this to you, buddy, but uh, you're locked out until you pay your half of the expenses. You do that to me? It's called tough love. <laughs> you put him up to this, didn't you? Yoko. <laughs> For some men, nothing is better than a fire leg. For others, the preference lies elsewhere. Oh, wait, wait. Kevin hasn't seen you since you got your breasts done. Let's see how many nanoseconds it takes him to notice. I'll take off my jacket. No, it won't matter. He can sense big breasts over the phone. <laughs> hey. Are you back already? Oh, I just forgot my bag. You remember Robin? Oh, yeah, hey, how you doing? Hi, Kevin. Hey, you look uh, great. Would you uh, cut your hair? Uh, no. Well, there's something different. Do you uh, you lose some weight? <laughs> no. I know. You you had your teeth whitened. Kevin, I got my breasts done. Yeah, I know. I, I just wanted you to say it first. <laughs> Man, what a great boob job of the hut. Star Wars, that is a great movie. My favorite movie is Implant of the Apes. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin, you want to see him? <laughs> this is some kind of test, isn't it? <laughs> Go ahead, Kevin, I don't care. This is still part of the test, right? <laughs> Kevin, it's fine. She said it's fine. Here they are. They're perfect. Thanks, and they feel just like the real thing. <laughs> this is still part of the test, isn't it? Brenda, hi. Just got back from my new job, moving and shaking down in the financial district. Oh, really? Yep, building multi-layered investment portfolios using stocks, foreign bonds, and various tax shelters. There's a little green hat on my head, isn't there? <laughs> Ooh, you don't give a girl a chance, do you? Nice. Robin, you look great. Did you cut your hair? I'll show you my breasts later, Jamie. <laughs> okay, note to self. Replace, can I see your breasts with, did you cut your hair? <laughs> so how was work, Jamie? <laughs> it's the first time I ever used that sentence. <laughs> it was miserable and humiliating. Oh, come on. Couldn't have been that bad. Yeah, dust is bad. When I was a kid, envisioning how my life would go, it never included being a Bavarian pretzel boy. Come on, what's the big deal? It's just a temporary job, just to help you get you back on your fishing. I used to be a photographer. Now I'm a pretzel maker. My dating pool just shifted from swimsuit models to the girls of Hickory Farms. It might not be glamorous, but at least it's an honest day's pay. Yeah. 
But I thought by now I'd be taking pictures of supermodels in Tahiti. Yeah, that's it, Stacy. Frolicking the waves. Good. Splashy. Splashy. Okay, let the sea foam linger on your cleavage. See, that's my dream. To be gay? Go ahead, laugh. You know, let me tell you something, Jim. You want to know about dreams? You know how when a rock star walks out onto that stage and that spotlight hits him and the crowd goes nuts? Well, I always wanted to be the guy aiming that spotlight. <laughs> but I'm a realist, man, you know? Like, amazing things like that, they just don't happen. <laughs> I just won $5,000. What? I won the Center for Women's Affairs Award in photography. They're gonna give me five thousand dollars. Five thousand bucks. <laughs> Your photograph was a startling juxtaposition of the feminine ideal versus the feminine real. What picture did you send them? The one of the amazing blonde jogging by the two fat chicks eating ice cream. <laughs> Therein lies a the juxtaposition. Art is so easy. <laughs> Congratulations, man. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking winning this is a reward for putting in a day of good old-fashioned hard work. Where are you going? To return this uniform and quit my job. Except for the leader hosen. These look good. Kevin, when you went shopping, did you get any bread? Breasts? You do not need new breasts. Your breasts are fine. But it, it, if that's what you need to do to feel better about yourself... Kevin, I'm with you. Do I look like someone who wants to better herself? You're just cranky, and I can understand, because this is a big decision. You see one fake pair, and suddenly you are obsessed. Oh, you're crazy. I'm not obsessed. Then why'd you make C cups out of your mashed potatoes? Because you didn't mash enough to make D cups. Hey, guys. So, uh, Sarah? Did uh, Kevin tell you about the good news? Yeah, it's great. I just, I can't believe a women's group is giving you an award, though. You sure that it's just not luring you down there so they can beat the crap out of you? <laughs> Kevin, I'm pretty good at sensing those letters by now. So, Jamie, what are you gonna do with all that prize money? Well, I thought I'd pay back my best friend who gave me a loan in time of need. $1,800. That was 2000 <laughs> The dollar's depreciated since the late 80s. <laughs> then I thought I'd get some stuff out of Hawk, you know, CD player, microwave, portable stuff. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you hawked my microwave? I thought you said you were just taking it into the shop. Yeah, pawn shop. <laughs> I was wondering if you would go out with me Saturday night. Jamie, I told you, there's nothing you could possibly say that would make me want to go out with you again. Oh, well, it's just that I won a photography award and they're honoring me with the reception. And it's the first time I've ever won anything in my entire life. And, you know, there's no one I'd rather have there than you. Honesty with a touch of vulnerability? <laughs> Damn you, all right, I'll go. Yes, yes. This is gonna be the greatest night of my life. What's the matter? I'm waiting for you to say something rude so I can shut the door. I got a better idea. Why don't you fill up the tub with whipped cream and I'll get the All right, meat. thanks, bye. Yes, she said yes. She couldn't resist the sweet smell of success. Well, off to the Salvation Army to get a tux. Go for the double-breasted. Good idea. Is this what you want, Kevin? Is this what would make you happy? Now you're just being silly. Come here, give me a hug. No, 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 leave those in. Like a Miami Beach pimp. 
<laughs> and I thought the salesman was just flattering me. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Rico. You know, you guys, I'm a little nervous about speaking in public. So do you mind if I run my acceptance speech by you? No. I discovered the beauty of photography at age 10 when I stumbled upon a book of Ansel Adams landscapes in my father's den. I picked up that book, and hidden underneath were two penthouses and the Playboy. Holy smokes, I said to myself. Jamie, how closely did you read this letter from the Women's Center? You know, it's addressed to Ms. Oh, must be a typo. Well, look at the names here. I mean, every single winner in the history of this organization has been a woman. What's your point? That the topic of the contest is women on women. I know. I found it on the internet. I was looking for something else. <laughs> Jamie, this contest is only for women. You're not winning anything. That's ridiculous. How could they think I'm a woman? My name's Jamie. <laughs> Holy smokes. Nothing is as attractive as a man in a uniform. Welcome to Hansel and Pretzel. Our twists will make you shout. What are you doing? I'm helping the customer. I interact with the customers. You interact with the pretzels. <laughs> if I was doing this at his age, I'd kill myself. Hey. What are you doing here? No, I bought Sarah a push-up bra. Coleman? He's not a pretzel. What's his deal? Well, I went ahead to beg for my job back. I lost seniority. I used to abuse him pretty good. <laughs> anyway, here. What's this? The money I owe you. <clears throat> Two thousand bucks. Where'd you get this? Doesn't matter. Jamie, I sold my camera equipment. No big deal. It's not like I'm gonna need it in my new career. Coleman? Are the pretzels going to salt themselves, or...? I... <laughs> no, sir. Jamie, you're giving up just because you didn't get that award? That was the first good thing that ever came out of photography. And now it's as if it never happened. I mean, do I need a bigger sign? Let me tell you about the Jamie Coleman I know. Let me tell you about the guy who couldn't afford airfare for spring break, so he FedExed himself to Fort Lauderdale. How about the guy who ran out onto the field during a Colts game to block an extra point? <laughs> or the guy who ate a 72-ounce chunk of prime rib just so he could get a free cheesecake? I almost died that night. <laughs> Jamie, that award is rightfully yours. You took the picture. Hey, pretzel boy, I'm gonna need two cheddar jalapenos. Hey, he's not a pretzel boy, he's a photographer. Hey, photographer, I'm gonna need two cheddar jalapenos. You know what? You're right. I don't need this. I won that award. I still have my dignity. How do I look? Like a Miami Beach hooker. Sarah, you better be good to your man. Or he's mine. Where did you get that dress? I found it hanging in my closet. Women sometimes leave my room in a hurry. Your breasts look amazing. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin, would you just drop it? But I'm serious. Look at these. Hey, 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 fresh. Come on, where's Brenda? What's the deal? She's running late. You know, I finally figured out why it takes women so long to get ready. Yeah, it's a real pain, isn't it? No, I kept catching myself in the mirror in these silky fabrics and getting turned on. <laughs> hey, while we're waiting for Brenda, she ain't a walk in those heels, all right? Okay. Okay, slight bounce, shifting your weight. <laughs> what? You walk like a man. Ow! God, you punch like one, too. <laughs> Let's 
Let's go, sweetie. Jimmy, what's going on? I'll explain everything in the car, sweetheart. I don't know why, but that kind of turned me on. Jimmy, I'm not going anywhere with you looking like that. That hurts. Almost as much as the bikini wax. You got a bikini wax? Hello, I'm wearing a thong. by a distinguished organization and you look like you're trying to get out of the Navy. <laughs> you're right. What am I doing? I guess I just wanted to win this award so bad. I never won anything before. Never a trophy. Never heard the applause. Never felt the waves of love cascading over the footlights. <laughs> Is he gonna start singing over the rainbow? You know what? Screw it. Yeah. I won that award. So what if I'm not a woman? I took the picture. I'm gonna march down there and I'm gonna accept that award as myself. I just wish I would have realized this before I got all taped up. Come on, Brenda, let's go get the car. All right, and on the way down, you can remind me why I hang out with you people. <laughs> Jamie, why don't you throw these disgusting things out? Check out this crowd. You all right? You look pretty nervous. I'm just picturing their reaction when they find out that I'm Jamie Coleman. I've never pissed off this many women at once before. <laughs> it's time for our next Women on Women Award. They really ought to change that title. <laughs> for its stirring commentary on the unrealistic expectations placed upon women, this year's award goes to the bitingly satiric photograph, Hot Babe and Fat Chicks. I haven't had a chance to meet her yet, but please join me in welcoming the very talented photographer, Jamie Coleman. I realize I'm probably not what you expected. I didn't even know an hour ago if I could go through with this. In fact, I'm still a little nervous, but here I am. <laughs> wow, that's a relief. <laughs> Being here tonight meant so much to me, I almost put on a dress. Don't do it, sister. <laughs> But art is genderless, really. I mean, what, what matters most is what's on the inside. At least that's what I believe. You go, girl. Oh, my God. They think I'm a woman. A really butch woman. She's so sexy. She's just like Katie Lang. I think Jamie's a... Yeah, uh huh Let's see, I, I can come clean and risk losing the 5,000 bucks or when I was a little girl, <laughs> I knew I was different. I love women. There, I said it. She's so raw and honest. <laughs> what is he doing? He's getting our 5,000 bucks. Sing it loud, sister. <laughs> kinds of women. I love tall women, short women, large-breasted women, tall, large-breasted women. Hallelujah! I guess what I'm trying to say is every woman is beautiful. She is hot. Back off! 
off, she's mine. So as I accept this prestigious award and say goodnight, I'd like to leave you with this. I may not have the most perfect breasts, but I'm not afraid to show them. Now, who's with me? Okay, it's been an hour. Can I take them off now? How do you feel? Kind of sweaty under here, kind of itchy, and the wire's digging into me. See? So when are you going to get them? What the hell is that? So what? I'm a man. Is that so wrong? <laughs> I'll never forget the first time an angry lesbian ran out of Jamie's room. <laughs> well, I'm off to bed. Well, I guess she didn't like the real you, huh? The world is filled with such prejudiced, narrow-minded people. Still, it was great tonight, huh? Yeah. Did you hear that applause? Yeah, I heard it. You know, winning this thing makes me want to get serious about my craft. I'm thinking about going back to college. Maybe shoot for a master's. That's great. Where are you going to find that kind of money? There are all kinds of scholarships out there. I applied for one this morning. The United Negro College Fund. <laughs>